So before this video gets started, if you're an Uber driver or a Lyft driver and you want to make an extra $100 extra per month, there's a company called Play Octopus that will send you a free tablet to put in your car. You just have to use our link below. You put the tablet in your car, your passengers can play games, and you as a driver make an extra up to $100 per month. Sign up for Play Octopus with the link down below. It's free to sign up. They're pretty much nationwide now, so use the link. Start making an extra 100 bucks a month, and let's get started. Y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Ready for the next topic? Yeah. Uh, Uber protest. There's an Uber protest taking place. You want to check this out? Yeah. So see why Uber and Bolt drivers staged a go slow protest in Kenya. So guys, it's not even in the USA. I mean, we have viewers, by the way. Uh, some haters online were saying, oh, why are you talking about non-US news? Guys, we have a huge audience international. We got a lot of watchers in Canada, a lot of watchers in Australia, uh, people watching in Africa. We are covering the news everywhere. Isn't that right, Izzy? Yeah. Yeah, we're fully inclusive. So yeah. you want to read this one? So guys, people don't hate Uber only in US. People hate Uber everywhere. Okay, go ahead. So, Uber and Bolt's drivers staged a protest on Monday to push both riding sharing companies to reduce their commission. Fuel price and high commission is reducing the profit margin on the side of the drivers, but on the other hand, a reduced commission would affect the business model of both ride sharing companies. Yep. Pretty nuts. So, basically, what they did was um they, they you know uber uber drivers believe that uber takes too much money in commissions we talked about this on the last slide on the last live stream we were thinking you know it should be around 20 percent and on some rides drivers send in screenshots all the time where they only made where they only made 30% on the ride. It'll be like a $40 ride and the driver only gets like 12 bucks. Like they Uber's taken over half of it. So, and the Uber CEO, his answer to that was because of insurance costs. I don't know if you all you remember that interview. I'll just pull yeah. I'll just pull it up really quick just so we're all on the same page. Um, Uber CEO interview. With the rideshare guy. So our, we've talked, what? we've covered upside before. What would you tell drivers who are complaining about the commission that Uber takes? Yep, here we go. So I, I think one um, issue to note as it relates to uh, our commission and, and booking fee, et cetera, is we're also responsible for insurance costs and insurance yep. costs. Uh, unfortunately, he looks like he looks a little bit like Steve Jobs here <laughs> with the. Um, with the the outfit, yeah. Look at this, Steve not Steve Jobs turtleneck. So Steve Jobs, guys, um, he always wears this this shirt here. Is in is the Uber CEO trying to be like Steve Jobs? <laughs> like I'm I'm serious. Like Steve Jobs always wears this this black turtleneck. I don't know if you guys know this, but yeah, look at this for for. Nine years straight, he wore the same shirt. And now, Uber CEO, I mean, he's even balding, and he got a little beard. And look at the, look at Steve Jobs. Same thing. I mean, he's not balding as much. Maybe here he's balding a little bit more. Just no glasses. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that just me? Okay, let's can. Yeah. Am I the only one who thinks that? Yeah. <laughs> We're also responsible for insurance costs, and insurance yeah. costs, uh, unfortunately, are very, very high in the U.S. due to a number uh, of factors. Okay, well, in the U.S., sure, but what about Kenya? Yeah, what about Kenya? Yeah, what do you got to say about that, Mr. Uber CEO? aka Steve Jobs of Uber. And that's something that, that kind of is 
it, it's consistent. It has unfortunately been increasing, even though um, the rate of incidents has been decreasing. The yeah. cost per incident for a variety of... Uh, I think we should interview the Uber CEO. Yeah. Because I'll hit him you and me both, we should, we should do an interview with him. Yeah, I'll, I'll email him and ask if he's down. Please do. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll Snapchat him. Because look at this interview. It only has 8,000 views. I think our interview with him would get at least 100K views. Yeah, we should interview the Lyft CEO too. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. We should get on the news. We should go. We should like, should we start trying to get on the news? <laughs> yeah. You know, when they interview like different experts, they could interview like Izzy from the Rideshare Hub. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. We need a PR person. Guys, if anybody out there has PR experience, I mean, I think you could just email them, honestly. Yeah. Like, inter or email, start in in emailing news outlets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get verified on Instagram. Okay, that's, that's really what <laughs> I want here. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah. Basically, what happened was there's a protest. Um, even in Kenya, Uber typically charges 25% commission, has filed a petition to the high court to revise the regulation. So Uber, it sounds like Uber doesn't even want to pay drivers that much. They want to pay them less. Wow. 